So my question for you in this Coach's Corner episode is, are you too nice? That may seem like a strange question because most of us would think that being nice is a wonderful way to be, but sometimes we are too nice. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for love, kindness, and generosity, yet I've noticed that although niceness is very PC, it's not always authentic. We are often too nice when we want someone's approval or acceptance, or we long for someone to like us and think we're a good person, or when we're in the presence of someone who intimidates us or is in an authority position or when we just want to avoid confrontation. I've seen myself do this in romantic relationships, friendships, and even business negotiations. The result? Externally, I upheld the image of being a nice person, yet internally, I left feeling unfulfilled and like I settled for less than I deserved. We think that being nice will get acceptance, approval, validation, or the peace we crave, so we repress our honest feelings and expression. So I'm asking you, can you relate to playing it nice when you actually feel dismissed, upset, not seen or misunderstood in some way. A lot of us do this because it's scary to be vulnerable. We put our concern about the other person's reaction or perception of us first. We put on a happy face and pretend nothing is wrong, hoping that our niceness will provide the experience in a relationship we're seeking. Playing nice may seem like a good idea at the time, but if it isn't real, it creates resentment. Not only do we start to feel resentful towards someone else because we feel like a doormat, we start to feel resentful towards ourselves by not speaking our truth. Inauthentic niceness can also create passive-aggressive communication. At first glance, what is said sounds pretty nice, but it was riding on an energy of upset. So how do we stop killing ourselves with inauthentic kindness? The answer is not to be jerky or bitchy. It's simply to be honest and vulnerable. Sharing our true feelings and experience is the nicest thing we can do for ourselves and ultimately for others as well. And we can be honest in a nice way by communicating using ownership language and not blaming anyone else. For instance, when you do so-and-so, the experience I have inside is X, Y, Z. Or when this happens, I feel blah, blah, blah. So it's ownership. It's using I language. You know, loving kindness is not about being a passive pushover. Loving kindness is about being authentic. And our authentic nature is love. And love accepts everything. All our thoughts and feelings are loved by love. Love yourself enough to honor your experience by telling the truth. This is what will keep you from building up resentment towards others and yourself. Resentment creates a block to the awareness of your true loving nature. Without resentment in your way, you're able to forgive others who you judge as not that nice. You will be able to love others in spite of their behavior. You will be inspired to act with loving kindness, which is the nicest thing to do. So stop killing yourself and others with inauthentic kindness. Choose authenticity, vulnerability, and love instead.